Hello, beautiful people. Let's go ahead and begin today's session by coming into an easy seat. If you need to, you can grab a blanket or a pillow, something to put under your sit bones if that's more comfortable. But go ahead and cross the shins, meeting in the middle in front of you. Place your palms, hands down on your knees. So we're really, really going to tap into grounding postures and movements today. Um, working on synchronizing our movements with our breath. So we're actually going to begin today's practice by tapping into some breath work. And this is one of my favorite ways to just calm my mind and my spirit down when I'm feeling anxious or um, a little bit out of sorts. So with your palms face down on your knees, go ahead and just close your eyes here. And I'm going to guide you through one of my very favorite breath exercises. So first, just settling into your body. Maybe finding your sit bones for a moment. Growing nice and tall from the tailbone. Feeling that energy travel all the way up the spine and out the crown of the head. And then also working its way the energy comes back down, grounding you into your mat on your exhale, feeling yourself rooting down into the earth. So as much as we're growing tall here in our nice little easy seat, we are also rooting down. And just take note of your normal pattern of breath for a moment just kind of observe what it feels like, what it sounds like. And as you become more aware of your breath, we're going to begin to work through some box breathing on a four count. And if you've never done this before, don't worry. I'm going to talk you through it the whole way. So the first thing we're going to do is inhale on a count of four. So as I begin to count, start to fill up your lungs for one, two, three, four. Now hold that inhale, keep everything sucked in for one, two, three, four. And then exhale everything out for one, two, three, four. And hold that exhale, keep all that air out for one, two, three, four. Big inhale, bring that breath back in, one, two, three, four. And hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale it out, one, two, three, four. Four, and hold for one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and hold for one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, and hold for one two, three, four. Bring your breath back to its normal pattern. Inhales and exhales. Just notice if there's any difference. Hopefully your mind has slowed down a little bit as it's been focusing on your breath. And gently begin to open up the eyes. So bringing yourself back to the space around you. We're just going to start to warm up our neck ever so gently. So begin by dropping the chin down and towards the chest. And then taking some nice little neck rolls in whatever direction feels good in your body as we start our practice. So bringing one ear down to the shoulder, rolling the neck around the back other ear to other shoulder, 
and chin back to chest. Again, really sinking your movements with your breath here. So we're making a conscious effort, especially in this practice, to be very aware of our breath and using our breath to guide us in and out of our movements. So whenever your chin comes back around to your chest, take a gentle pause or maybe even seamlessly begin to move in the other direction. So just evening out both sides, taking those neck rolls the opposite way of when you began. Inhaling and exhaling as you move through these. And on your next exhale, let that chin come back into your chest. And then inhale, slowly lift your head up. We're going to take the hands off the knees. So bringing your right hand out, you can tent the fingertips. You can actually let your left hand rest on your leg if you prefer, or you can bring it down to the ground right next to you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And on an exhale, drop the left shoulder down towards the left ear. Sorry, left ear down towards the left shoulder. <laughs> so you're going to feel a big stretch here through the right side of your neck. So it feels really nice every exhale, maybe even allow your body to get a little bit heavier. And just sink into this pose a bit more. If you want to take this a step further, you can always hover the fingertips off of the ground. So you're going to feel that stretch intensify through that right side of the neck. And then exhale, gently bring those fingertips back down if they're lifted and slowly bring the head back up to neutral. So other side, tent those left fingertips. Right hand can stay on the ground or rest gently on your leg. Inhale, sit up nice and tall to begin. And on an exhale, drop that right ear down towards your right shoulder. Big stretch through the left side of the neck. We'll start just taking some mental notes of your body, of the different sides. Maybe you feel more tightness or openness on a specific side. And just keep in mind that not every pose, especially when it comes to doing both sides of the body, is going to look the same or feel the same. So just being patient with yourself and your practice. Again, hovering those fingertips if you would like to take this one step further. And being mindful of the intensity of the stretch. And exhale, release those fingertips back down if they're lifted and gently pull your head back up to neutral. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, right hand down to the ground, left arm sweeps up and over, big stretch, big bend through the left side of the body. Keep both of those sit bones down on the ground. Maybe even twist your chest up towards the sky if that feels good in your body right now in this moment. Inhale, both arms lift back up. Exhale, left hand down to the ground, right arm sweeps up and over, nice big bend through the right side of the body. Both of those sit bones stay firmly planted down into the ground. Option to exhale, the heart and the chest open towards the sky. And inhale. Both hands lift up, exhale, hands come into prayer, and gently float those hands down the midline of the body. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, right hand is going to come right in front of your legs, left hand gently behind you. On an exhale, we're going to move into a very gentle twist here, so using a little bit of that core strength in your belly 
as you exhale, open up to the left, coming into your first little twist of the day. Every inhale, I want you guys to think about sitting up nice and tall, allowing that energy to go up and down the spine. And every exhale, allowing your mat and your the ground beneath you to kind of receive your body a little bit more as you relax into this posture. Maybe even letting yourself twist a little bit deeper. And slowly release, come back to center, switch out the hands. So left hand in front, right hand behind. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, start to fire up your belly a little bit as you twist open to the right. So really trying to use your core strength here as you open up, not using your hands to force us into anything. They're really just here to more assist us, help us balance. Every inhale, let the energy run up and down your spine, growing tall, rooting back down into the mat. And every exhale, maybe opening up a little bit more. And slowly release. Good. Go ahead and roll over onto your hands and knees. So in tabletop for just a moment, we're actually going to tuck the toes and move straight back into our downward facing dog. So lifting the knees, sending the hip bones back towards the sky, working those heels down into the mat. And really take a moment here to just feel the ground, the earth, your mat beneath you. Notice your feet and your hands. Spread the fingers nice and wide, so creating that big, solid foundation. And take some big inhales and exhales here. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Send the hip bones up. Exhale, melt your chest down towards the ground. And see if you can get the heels a little bit closer towards your mat. As you inhale, shift the gaze forward. Gently begin to roll or send your body forward into a high plank. So again, feeling the ground beneath you, pushing it away as you come into your high plank. And then exhale, gently sending everything back into your downward dog. So again, we're using that breath and body synchronicity, moving together. Inhale, rolling forward into that high plank allowing your exhale to guide you back into downward dog. Inhale, roll it forward into high plank. Exhale, send it back, downward dog. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, send it back. Inhale, roll it forward, and let that exhale guide you back. This time as you inhale, shift the gaze in between the hands, start to take a nice slow walk to the top of the mat. So really tiptoe here, taking little baby steps, and as your toes get closer to the backs of your hands, Continue to push the ground away from you, so rooting your hands down into the mat. You can bend the knees as your legs get closer if your hamstrings are tight. Once the feet are there, inhale, halfway lift, so find that length in the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Again, take a bend into the knees if your hamstrings are tight or if there's any discomfort in your low back. 
And then inhale, nice engaged core, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms overhead, root into your feet. Send energy out of the fingertips, grow tall. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Float those thumbs down the midline of the body all the way to the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, grow tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step those feet back into high plank. Drop to the knees if you need to modify. Chaturanga down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, roll or flip over the toes. Downward facing dog. Take some inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, look in between the hands. Take those baby steps to the top of the mat. Keep pouring that weight into your hands, pushing the ground away from you as your toes get closer. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms overhead, root into the mat, send energy out of the fingertips, and exhale, float those hands down to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. This time on your exhale, we're going to pick that right foot up. Take a nice big step back. So you're going to be in a low lunge for just a moment. And you're going to look back at that right foot, maybe adjust it a little bit. Roll onto the heel of the back foot. Engage the core. So squeeze the thighs in towards one another. Rise up. Warrior one. Take some big inhales and exhales. If you feel a little bit wobbly, you can heel toe the left foot out towards the edge of the mat just a little bit. Keep that front knee stacked over the ankle. Slowly bring your hands over your heart. I want you all to feel your breath for a moment. Maybe even close your eyes. So challenge yourself to get really centered here, tuning in to your body, your mind, your breath. On an inhale, sweep the arms overhead. On an exhale, slowly float the hands down, place them over your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last time, inhale, sweep the arms over your head, grow tall. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. This time as you exhale, open up into your warrior two. So you may need to adjust your stance just a little bit. I always like to widen my legs for warrior two here. So find your warrior two for a moment. Nice deep lunge in that front leg. Lean back like there's a wall behind you. On an inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms overhead, straighten out through that front leg. Maybe even gaze up at the fingertips. And then exhale, lunge back into that front leg, gaze out over the front fingertips, warrior two. Inhale, rise up, straighten that leg out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. 
Breath and body synchronicity here. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Cartwheel those hands down around the front foot. Step that left foot back. Send it back, downward facing dog. This time, begin to walk the hands towards your feet. So hand by hand, no rush to get there, bending into the knees as your hands get closer, if your hamstrings are tight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Go ahead and look down at your feet for a moment. Make sure they're about hip distance apart here. On an inhale, we're gonna lift the left toes up. See if you can spread them wide. So we're really gonna ground our foot down into the mat. See if you can imagine all four corners of the feet pressing down into the mat. So as you lift your toes up, I'm lifting and spreading my toes just like they're my fingers. And then I'm going to bring them back down to the mat creating as much space in between my toes as possible. From here, your hands can stay out to the side. They can come into prayer. They can be overhead. We're going to work our way into tree pose. So the right foot, you have a few options. You can kickstand that right foot against the left leg. You can bring your right foot to your shin or your left calf, or you can pull that right foot up to your thigh. Just want to make sure we're avoiding placing it directly on the knee. So make sure you're above or below the knee. So go ahead and find your tree pose. Find somewhere you can gaze at. So again, connecting our minds, our breath, our bodies all together. They're all working together as one here. So we're all on the same team. Not fighting against any of them. There's no opposing forces. Everything is working together. And just check in with your face. Make sure you're not concentrating too hard. So there's a bit of ease and playfulness in your tree pose. Soften the muscles in the forehead. Soften your eyes, your gaze, whatever you're focused on. Maybe even smile a little bit. And allow your tree to just kind of wobble and blow in the breeze and be flexible. Go with the flow. <laughs> and if you want to challenge yourself, maybe even try shutting your eyes for a moment. So really rooting down into that left foot. Keep the breath going even when things get hard, even when you start to wobble. Big inhales and exhales. On your next exhale, slowly release that right foot back down to the ground. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands back out to downward facing dog. Inhale. Look in between the hands. This time, walk the toes towards the hands. Halfway lift once you get there. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, grow tall. Ground down through the feet. Exhale, fold forward, nice long spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, ground down into your right foot. Step back with the left foot. So big step back here, coming into that low lunge for just a moment. And then spin onto the heel of the back foot. Ground down through both feet equally. And then rise up, warrior one. So nice strong core here. If you feel a little bit wobbly, again, you can take that right foot, heel toe it out towards the edge of the mat just a bit, giving you a little bit of a wider stance. 
So just ground down into your warrior one for a moment. Look up at the hands, bring them into prayer. Slowly float them down the midline of the body. And then bring them over your heart. Maybe even close your eyes here for a moment. Just notice your breath. And maybe your heart rate is a little bit faster. So we have worked up a bit of a sweat over the last few minutes. See if you can slow it down. Take those big inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale. Float the hands down over the heart. Inhale. Sweep the arms overhead. Grow tall. Good. Float the hands down. And feel your heart. Feel your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale. Place them over your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. This time as you exhale, open up into your warrior two. So this is a great time to widen your stance a little bit if you need to. Keep that nice deep lunge in the front leg. Gaze is out over the right fingertips. On an inhale, we're gonna straighten that right leg out. Sweep the arms overhead, maybe even shift the gaze up towards the fingertips. And exhale. Back into your warrior two. Gaze shifts out over the right fingertips. Inhale. Body and breath move together. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last time, inhale, shift the gaze up. Big exhale, sink back down into that warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down around the front foot. Step that right foot back. Send the hips back, downward facing dog. Slowly begin to walk the hands towards the feet. So one by one, hand over hand, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. You should be at the back of your mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. Sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, hands to prayer. Thumbs cut down the midline of the body. Good. So moving back into our tree pose. Feet are about hip distance apart here. This time we're going to be grounding down into the right foot. So go ahead, do me a favor, look down at your toes for just a moment. See if you can lift those right toes up, spread them nice and wide, just like you would your fingers in downward dog or chaturanga. And then bring those toes back down towards the mat, spreading them as wide as possible, creating your nice, solid, firm foundation. From here, find your gazing point. So maybe it's out in front of you in the distance. It could be right beneath you on your mat. I encourage you to kind of try and look out towards the horizon just to keep your neck and your spine in a really nice neutral alignment. Kick standing, that left foot to begin. You can start here, you can stay here. You can also bring that foot to the shin or the calf or to the right inner thigh. Just make sure again that you're avoiding the knee so we wanna be above or below it. And then find your tree pose. So root down and wobble and sway, just like trees do when it's a windy day. They get moved around, but they're anchored down. So anchor down into your mat. Grow tall, grow proud at the crown of your head. Find that body and breath connection. Soften your face. So again, check in with what your forehead is doing, what your eyes are doing. Maybe even smile a little bit. Just soften everything. Maybe close 
close the eyes just for a moment or two just to have fun with it check in with that right foot <laughs> and then exhale gently release opening the eyes up if they were closed inhale sweep the arms overhead exhale fold forward nice long spine inhale halfway lift exhale walk the hands out and back into your downward dog send the hips back heels down towards the ground inhale look in between the hands this time take a step and then another step bring the feet behind the hands and sit the butt back onto your mat so keeping the knees bent Go ahead and engage the core. See how slowly you can release your body back onto your mat. Just take a few breaths here with the knees bent. And work on grounding that lower back down into the mat. So engaging your core here, keeping it nice and tight. Try to get rid of the space between your low back and the floor. Eyes can be open or closed. And then just gently bring one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Hands are going to come to the shins just below the knees and begin to draw little circles. So letting the knees guide the way, drawing invisible little circles into the air, moving in whatever direction comes naturally to your body. And just kind of letting go of everything, massaging out the low back. And then the next time you bring your knees in towards your chest, pause or seamlessly begin to move in the opposite direction of where you started. So evening everything out, making circles the other way. And then pull the knees into your chest. So stop making circles. Keep the hands on the shins. So we're just going to work our way into a modified happy baby. So keeping things really gentle here. Slowly begin to pull the knees apart. And then kind of let gravity take over. So your elbows are going to come down to the ground as the knees fall heavy to either side of you. So again, this is just a modified happy baby. Gently opening up the hips. Giving a little bit of love here to our low body. And then if you want, sometimes this feels nice. I like to start to send my toes away from me. So straightening out the legs, bringing my hands to my hamstrings. And just opening up into a wide straddle. The hands can be a little bit of a support for the legs here as you rest on your elbows. Take a few more breaths. If you're experiencing any discomfort or tightness, just imagine your exhales going straight to that area. So breathe your exhales into those spaces of tightness or discomfort. Allow your exhales to open them up and provide life to that area of the body, relaxing them, easing them a little bit deeper into the posture. 
and slowly bend back into your knees. Good, pull your knees back in. Send that right leg out long, bringing it down onto the mat. Arms are gonna come out into a T shape. And then your left knee goes over towards the right. Gaze can stay up towards the sky, the ceiling, or you can shift it out over the left fingertips if you wanna intensify this twist. You can even bring your right hand to your left knee just to gently guide it down towards the ground, but no need to rush into anything. So just be gentle with yourself here. And then slowly inhale, pull that left knee back into the chest. Bring the right knee up to meet it. Send the left leg out long and then right knee goes over towards the left. Again, gaze can stay up towards the ceiling or it can shift out over the right fingertips. Hopefully you guys get a nice few low back pops. I always get lower back pops here and it's the best. So use those inhales and exhales, every inhale. Just like we did with our twists at the beginning of practice, find that length in the spine. You can even reset if you need to come back to center, lengthen, and then exhale, allow that exhale to completely relax your body, maybe assisting it even a bit deeper into this posture. And then slowly pull your right knee back into your chest and then send it out to meet that left leg. So working your way into Savasana here. I would highly recommend taking whatever your version of Savasana is, especially after the practice that we did. I love putting my left hand on my heart, my right hand on my belly. So again, just checking back in with that breath to end your practice, closing the eyes, allowing the body to get nice and heavy, maybe even counting your inhales and exhales. And taking the next two to three, maybe even five minutes here, whatever feels good in your body, how about to finish off your practice. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the mat today and I will see you all next time. Namaste.